How you breathe can change how you look. What? Hi guys, I'm Dr. Kayla, the dentist you can ask anything. Do you know that breathing through your mouth can cause this, this, this and this? Yes, if you habitually breathe through your mouth instead of your nose since young, it can lead to poor development of your teeth and face. Mouth breathers tend to have a laptoposcopic face, which is just a fancy name for a long and narrow face like Woody from Toy Story. Mouth breathers tend to have a retracted chin, Massive teeth on narrow dental arches, usually overbite and crowded teeth, crooked nose, poorly defined cheekbones, as well as tired mm. eyes. Take a look at this boy. This photograph was taken when he was 10 years old. He breathes through his nose and has a well developed face. When he was 14, he developed an allergy that left him with a stuffy nose, which caused him to start breathing through his mouth. This is him at age 17. Habitual mouth breathing caused his face to grow downward instead of forward, making his face long and narrow. His chin looks narrow because his upper and lower jaws did not grow forward. But happy to be on set! <laughs> long time no see people, okay? Let's go to the street, but scene 2. Auntie makes jokes and asks into camera. Why the long face? Ha ha ha! Let me explain why. When you open your mouth to breathe, it drops your chin down and back. Imagine it as a weight hanging at your chin. Now, there's an external force from your facial muscle exerting on your upper and lower jaw. See, your jaw is supposed to develop outwards to form into a U-shaped arch. However, due to external forces, it is unable to develop outwards properly and instead, it develops it into a narrow V-shaped arch. A U-shaped maxilla has more space to accommodate our teeth. But when your maxilla is V-shaped or too narrow, your teeth have no enough space to fit in. It's kind of like trying to fit four people in a two-seater sofa. They'll start overlapping each other and we call this crowding. This is why people who always breathe through their mouth has messy teeth and misalignment. Second, tongue position. In normal circumstances, our tongue should rest against our palate, which is the roof of our mouth. When a child is still developing, this tongue pressure is important in helping proper maxilla or upper jaw development. Without it, our dental arches will be too narrow and our teeth can't be guided into their proper position, leading to problems like crowding as what we've mentioned. The maxilla will also grow long instead of wide, giving the appearance of gummy smile because of the increased distance between between the top of the teeth and the base of the nose. In mouth breathers, their tongue are usually on the floor of the mouth because it needs to give way for the air to enter to the lungs through the mouth. This can contribute to vertical facial growth or long face growth pattern, leading to the appearance of a long and narrow face. The chin may be receded or backwards as well, and this can lead to more serious problems like airway problem. Mouth breathers tend to subconsciously tilt their head forward to open up their airway more so they can breathe better. It is no surprise that mouth breathers with receded chin have sleep apnea, which is the interruption of breathing when you're asleep. To learn more about sleep apnea, you can watch this video. Link in the description. Let's talk solution. If you're a parent with a mouth fever child, there might still be time to reverse this condition. With proper nose breathing exercises, growth appliances, and dentist supervision, you can guide the jaw and teeth of the child into its proper relation and position. However, if you're an adult who has already passed your growth spurt, the treatment might be a little bit more complicated. Orthodontic treatment or braces are often helpful in treating such conditions. If your habitual mouth breathing is due to chronic allergies, deviated septum, enlarged adenoids or tonsil or nasal polyps or any other factors, treating the root cause of your mouth breathing problem can help a lot in the long run. That's all for today. If you like this video, remember to tap that like button. I think it's here. Turn on the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. I'm Dr. Kila and I'll see you next time. Bye!